The Falcon 180B is the world's largest open large language model, and the authors from the Technology Innovation Institute claim that it is also the world's most powerful. In this video, we're going to have a look at it, and we're going to compare it with ChatGPT and see whether or not the performance of this model is on par at least with ChatGPT or GPT 3.5. So the authors claim that it is the world's most powerful open large language model, and they are uh, describing some of the benchmarks that they did. They also compare it to Palm 2. So they say that uh, this model is on par with the large language model from Google. And uh, they say that the new model ranks number one on Human Face Leaderboard for open large language models. It is a model that was trained on 3.5 trillion tokens from the refined web dataset. There is a complete text tutorial for this video that is available for free on mlexpert.io. You just need to go to mlexpert.io, then prompt engineering, and then on the models you have Falcon 180B. And here you have a nice summary of everything that is available thus far, the different types of models, how good the model is. And then I am uh, showing you a couple of comparisons that we're going to go through the Falcon 180B model is already on the Huggy Face Hub repository for models, and there is a nice blog post that is available on Huggy Face. Spread your wings, Falcon 100B is here. Uh, and they're talking about what is Falcon 180B. And according to those, uh, to this blog post, actually it is outperforming Kwama 270B, and then it is outperforming GPT 3.5 on the ML AUU dataset and here is the comparison that they did uh, here you can see that actually palm 2 large is performing a bit better and uh, on the commercial use well it is a bit more complicated than just yes or no uh, there are some limitations for the commercial use so please go and check the license link from the ml expert blog post and here you can see that the Falcon is actually performing a bit better compared to Wama 2 on uh, some data sets that are within the open large language model leaderboard. And another important thing is that when evaluating this model within a quantized with quantized metrics, uh, you can see that the 4, 16, 8 bit and 4 bit versions of the model are performing similarly. Uh, the, this is from the blog post at least. And they have a nice demo, which we're going to try. And there are some interesting hardware requirements for this model. So whether or not you can run this model depends heavily on your available uh, hardware. But yeah, it will be a lot harder. So the least training requirement is 160 gigabytes of VRAM or two A100s. So this is just to train with the QR adapter. So I don't have uh, such GPU in order to find you this model. But if you want to do a full fine tuning, you would need a lot more. more. And then uh, the just for the inference with GPTQ, you need 320 gigabytes of VRAM in order to do some predictions with this model in a 4-bit format. So this is uh, a bit too much, at least for me, to run. And then this is the prompt format, system, user, and then Falcon is the response. Uh, so this is going to be needed when you're actually using the chat version of the model. There are two main versions of this model. The base version is trained on the refined web dataset and is available on the Hagen Face repository. And you can see that uh, you need to accept a license in order to use this model. And then there is the chat version of the same model, which was further fine-tuned on UltraChat and other uh, datasets. So if you want to have a look at that, you can also download the chat version. Again, the license, etc. you need to read through those. And there is a GPTQ version that is already available by the blog. So this model has been quantized and uh, at least of now, you have just these two versions. The one is the 4-bit quantization and then a 3-bit quantization. But both of those models are very large and would require some uh, large 
GPUs in order to run. So the author state that the model is on top of the open LLM leaderboard on Helium face. And as you can see, I am on the page itself and you can't really see the model on top of here. So you need to scroll down a bit and then scroll a bit more in order to find to find the model itself. And here it is. So this is the first version of it that I can find. Uh, and yeah, pretty much the model is performing very well on those data sets uh, according to this leaderboard. But there are fine tuned versions of the Lama 2 models, which are again only 70 billion parameter models. And those models are actually performing much better compared to the Falcon models. So if you want to have a look at a better model that is currently not, not uh, running on 180 billion parameters, uh, you can try some of the other models. But for a base model Falcon 180B seems to be on top of this leaderboard. I have both of these models side to side. And on the right, you can see that this is the Falcon 180B demo. So this demo is actually a limited version of the model since it accepts only about a session of 1000 words, but still it is the full model. And on the left, we have a chat GPT or GPT 3.5. So I'm going to start with adding some settings here. So I'm going to use a temperature of zero so you can reproduce my results as well. I'm going to put in 512 maximum tokens. I'm going to keep the top P or the sampling probability as it is. And then I'm going to slightly reduce the repetition penalty. These are the settings that I'm going to use throughout here. And I'm not going to use the optional system prompt, at least as of now. So let's start with something very basic for both of these models. What is the latest date you have knowledge of? So I would expect that this will give me what is the training date set latest date. And let's start with both of these. So ChatGPT is telling us uh, pretty much that September 2021 is the latest date. So, okay. And then on the Falcon as an AI language model, I don't know how knowledge of specific dates and that's they're provided to me. Okay, so I would say that ChatGPT is much more understandable of what I'm asking. So this was the first one. And let's continue with something that is a bit more complex. So what is the capital of Plovdiv, Bulgaria? This is the question that I'm going to ask. The capital on the Falcon side, the capital of Plovdiv, Bulgaria is Sofia, which is wrong since uh, Plovdiv is a city in Bulgaria. And yeah, the capital of Bulgaria is Sofia, but Plovdiv's capital is actually Kuchuk Parish. So yeah, this is wrong. And then Plovdiv is a city in Bulgaria and it's not the capital of Bulgaria. The capital of Bulgaria is Sofia, second largest city in Bulgaria rich history, culture, and architectural heritage. Okay, so this is a correct answer while the Falcon is giving us a wrong answer. So yeah, thus far, the model on the Falcon site, I'm not really impressed. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to do some email generation. And this is a prompt that I've used within the Falcon or the Wama model. And I'm going to run through this. Okay, so I really like this response right here. And then on the side of the Falcon. Okay, pretty solid response from the Falcon model as well. Yeah, pretty good actually. Let's try another thing. Let's try to take this. And I'm going to input this as an uh, optional system prompt. And let's just ask to write an email and compare the result from that. Okay, I, st I think that the system prompt is actually doing a bit better. 
Okay, so I would say that both of the models are performing very well for this email generation task. And let's do some coding right now. So this is the code that I'm going to ask it to write for me. I write a function in Python that calculates the square of a sum of two numbers. And here we have the function from ChatGPT. Yeah, I can see that this is pretty much correct. Uh, it is a bit more verbose that I would like, but the code is correct. And on the side of the Falcon, yeah. So this would return the function, the square sum. And this uh, appears to be just right. And then it is using the exponentiation operator. Okay, very simple. And then it does a simple calculation for us. Yeah, so I would say that actually the Falcon model is performing much better right here. The code is much more succinct. And then the example is uh, great actually. Yeah, pretty good. And the model square sum. Let's try actually another one that I've tried with the Wama 7B model. This is going to be a bit more complex. So I'm asking it to split a list into three equal parts and return a list with a random element for each sublist. Yeah, so here uh, you can see that it's actually taking the length on the ChatGPT side. It's taking the length and then for each one, it is actually taking a sublist of this list. And then it is doing a random choice of each part. Okay, a bit more succinct again. And then we are given a sample. So, but the sample is a bit wrong, I think. Since it is giving the numbers one to nine, and then if we take a random of each sublist, uh, the first number should be between here, then here, and then here. So it's giving us first a random element from the second list, which is wrong. And then the first list and then the last list. Yeah, so the code is correct right here, but the example is wrong. Note that ChatGPT is not giving us a response of the output. So yeah, this one didn't do so well on the example right here. The next task that we're going to have a look at is text summarization. And I'm going to take again the text from the WAMA 7B model comparison. So I'm asking it to describe the benefits of WAMA 2 in less than 40 words. And this is a text from the official release of the model. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. And on this summary, I would say that is a bit more verbose compared to what we have here on the Falcon model. Uh, you can read both for yourself, but I would say that, yeah, I would say that the Falcon model is performing a better summary compared to ChatGPT. On the ChatGPT side, it's a bit more verbose and it is talking more about safety, promoting responsible uh, development, etc. So I would like to read this summary compared to this, but this might be a personal preference, of course. So the final task is going to be a task that is actually asking for extraction of data and uh, working on this data. So I'm going to pass in, paste in the table that I'm going to use and use the data from the markdown table to calculate how much better percent increase is WAMA 2 
70 billion versus one, one 70 billion on reading comprehension. And I'm going to pay, paste in this right here. And I'm going to run through this. And if you want to have a look at the table itself, here is again the ML Expert Pro uh, tutorial. So on the table, you can see that the 7 billion parameter model is having a reading comprehension of 58.5, while the 70 billion parameter of WAMA 2 is having 61.3. So these are the numbers that should be extracted from here. And let's have a look at the models extractions from this table. So let's start with ChatGPT. For the WAMA 2, it says that it is correct, 61.3. And for the WAMA 1, it says again, a correct number. So it is actually extracting from this table correctly. So next, uh, it is giving us a formula, new value minus old value over old value times 100. So this is going to calculate the percentage and it is plugging correctly the numbers. As you can see, the percentage increase times 100 over this number, which is the old value. And then it is correctly saying that is four point, roughly 4.8% increase. Let's have a look at the Falcon model. So it says that the reading comprehension is the correct value for the WAMA 1 and for the WAMA 2, again, a correct value. And it is giving us the correct formula. But then when it is calculating, again, with the correct numbers, it says that it is 5.1. So it is making a mistake right here in the calculation. So actually ChatGPT is performing better and it is giving us a better response, at least on this uh, markdown table. So is this model that good as the authors claim to be? Well, at least according to the evaluation that we did, it doesn't appear to be much, much better compared to ChatGPT or GPT 3.5. I'm not sure about GPT-4 since I haven't tested that, but this model seems to be performing better on some tasks, such as writing email, let's say, and doing summaries. But then on the comprehension tasks and the coding tasks, it did find some things that were wrong. Uh, the calculation at the end was completely wrong as well. So if you want to have a try at this model, please go to the demo and try it out for yourself. Maybe you can try other parameters as well for the temperature and the top P sampling, etc. Maybe those will improve the score. And if you want to have a lot more videos on the open large language models, please tell me in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Also go and read the completely free text tutorial that is available on mlexpert.io for the Falcon 100B model. Also, you can join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video. And thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.